Fifty years ago today, Apollo 17 Commander Gene Cernan and Lunar Module Pilot Jack Schmidt guided Challenger to a pinpoint landing on a barren, rock-strewn area of the moon called Taurus Littro. A half century later, NASA's newest moon explorer, the Orion spacecraft, is barreling its way back home after circumnavigating the moon and beyond in an elliptical distant retrograde orbit, now less than two hours away from splashing down in the Pacific Ocean west of Baja, California, to complete its shakedown mission that has opened a new era of deep space exploration. Thank you, Philip, and again, uh, a live view of Orion closing in on planet Earth, now about uh, 11,000 miles away from Earth as it uh, continues a, a very, very precise trajectory uh, for a splashdown that is scheduled at 11.39 and 42 seconds a.m. Central Time this morning. just one minute away from crew module service module separation. We'll be standing by for confirmation of that from the uh, 10 seconds until set. We have confirmation of separation. Orion flying on its own. Again, uh, the separation occurred right on time at 11 a.m. and 11 seconds central time with Orion 3200 statute miles away from Earth. The European service module has done its job. Just one minute away from entry interface. And this view uh, from the uh, cabin camera, looking uh, out of the upper hatch of Orion, you can see the limb of the Earth. We're going to be losing all of uh, the data here shortly once we uh, enter into the Earth's atmosphere and begin the first of the two blackout periods. Again, uh, this is a uh, visualization of what should be happening with Orion at the moment, although we are in a blackout period that should end about three minutes and 15 seconds from now. And we have data from Orion. Orion out of the blackout period. Flight Dynamics reports that Orion is right on the money, coming right down the pike, a good view out of the uh, cabin camera looking out of the uh, upper hatch of Orion. We should be performing uh, the skip entry maneuver momentarily. Good communications established with Orion. This view on the deck of the USS Portland. And there is a view out of the uh, cabin camera of Orion as it continues a series of roll reversals. We have data back from the spacecraft. Flight Dynamics reports uh, Orion straight and narrow on a true course toward its splashdown site. Forward bay covered jettisoning less than three and a half minutes from now. One hundred fifty thousand feet off the ocean. Orion now traveling at Mach 10. Orion now at 50,000 feet. The 
Forward Bay covered jettisoning pyros are armed. Twenty-five thousand feet. Drogues have been deployed. Two good drug shoots reported by uh, the recovery team out in the Pacific. The descent rate is right on the money. Orion's uh, velocity now down to 282 miles an hour. Range to splash down one and a half miles. 10,000 feet now. And we're on mains. 5,000 feet. Reefing in progress. Three good main shoots for Orion. We have three fully inflated main chutes. Time to splash down 90 seconds. Perfect descent rate reported. And there it is, high over the Pacific, America's new ticket to ride to the moon and beyond now in view. Orion under its chutes descending towards splashdown. to Taurus Littrow to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth. Orion is
is in great shape. Stable one, just in the orientation that had been expected. 